This podcast is about prepaid expenses, and I'm going to show you what your thought processes should be when considering this special deduction. Before we get to the detail, let's first look at what a prepaid expense is. When you consider the general deduction formula, one of the requirements for an expense to be deductible is that the expense must be incurred during the year of assessment that you are doing the tax calculation for. So when an expense is incurred in the following year of assessment, it can't be deducted in the current year. But sometimes an amount is paid in the current year that relates to the current and the following year of assessment. A typical example would be a license or a subscription that is paid for 12 months up front. For this reason, the Act provides for a special deduction for the portion of the payment that relates to the following year of assessment, if the requirements of the prepaid expense deduction are met. So, when you need to determine whether an expense that relates to the current year and the following year of assessment is deductible, you need to split up this expense into two parts and consider them separately. Firstly, the current year portion and secondly, the prepaid portion. If the portion of the expense that relates to the current year of assessment meets the requirements of the general deduction formula, then you can immediately deduct this portion. The prepaid portion will be deductible if this expense meets one of the following requirements. The period relating to the prepayment is less than six months or the prepaid amount is less than or equal to 100,000 Rand. Do you see that it refers to OR? So only one of the requirements needs to be met. Let's look at an example. Boss Limited paid an insurance premium of 150,000 for the period 1 January 2016 to 31 December 2016. So if I plot this on my timeline, the expense were incurred here on 1 January and it is in relation to a 12 month period that ends here on 31 December. My example also says Boss Limited's year of assessment ends on 31 May 2016, which is here on my timeline, which means my year of assessment begins on 1 June 2015 and ends on 31 May 2016. If I now look at my timeline with the information given, I can see that the number of months in the current year of assessment that this payment relates to is five months from 1 January to 31 May 2016. And the prepaid portion is from 1 June 2016 to 31 December 2016, which is seven months. And this is how I split up my prepaid portion and consider each part separately. So if we consider the current year of assessment first, in other words, the expense that is deductible according to the general deduction formula for my current year portion. I will take the amount, the 150,000, and multiply it by the number of months that relates to the current year of assessment, which is five months. And this gives me a, an amount of 62,500, which I can deduct in this year because an insurance premium is a general deduction formula expense. It meets all the requirements of the general deduction formula, and that's why I can claim a deduction. Now I can consider whether the prepaid portion is deductible. The first requirement that I look at is the number of months. And it is clear that it is seven months that relates to the prepaid portion and therefore it is more than six months and not deductible according to this requirement. But remember, I can also look at the second requirement and if, if only that requirement is met, then I can still deduct this portion. So I will now calculate the amount that the prepaid portion relates to. I do this by multiplying the amount of 150,000 by the number of months, 7 months over 12, and this gives me, me an amount of 87,500. This amount is less than 100,000 Rand, and this is why it will be deductible according to the prepaid portion requirements. It is clear that I am able to deduct the full amount of 150,000 by means of the 62,500 and the 87,500, but I need to consider the two deductions separately because it relates to two different sections. 
The current year portion relates to the general deduction formula, section 11a, and the prepaid portion relates to the special deduction that is um, offered by section 23h. I hope that this podcast has shed some light on how to approach an expense that relates to both the current year and the following year of assessment by means of a prepaid portion. Thank you.